Welcome back to Watch Dog Tactical. My name is CJ and today we are going to be reviewing Wilder Tactical's brand new Hitman belt lineup. Now, this is a lineup that I'm super excited about, mostly because I've had pretty thick battle belts over the years and Wilder somehow made it smaller, thinner, more comfortable, easier to carry and lighter. That's enough talk about how awesome Wilder is. Let's actually look at their gear. This is the brand new Wilder Tactical Hitman. Uh, this is their minimalistic belt setup and it definitely is minimalistic. So they're using some space age technology that nobody actually knows about. They made this belt super thin, super light, and still super strong all at the same time. Now, the belt itself does allow for you to put uh, different types of straps in. They do have their own. You can use Molly, you can use some pre-existing stuff. I've never seen somebody go as cheap as using paracord. God knows why. Their clips are completely reasonable to buy. But with the belt, you will have a couple of setup options. The options that we decided to go with here was going to be their really, 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 really nice holster holder with the swiveling leg rig. That's pretty nice for if you're sitting in a car and like a lot of those drop leg holsters, they kind of bunch up on you. So it does move with your body. Uh, this is their iFat kit, fully stocked out. It does come like that. Comes with every item that's in the iFat, including a tourniquet. Now I opted for one magazine mag, two pistol mags, and a drop pouch. Drop pouch is actually kind of cool. And there, I was lucky enough to get all this in Tiger Stripe. Pop love Tiger Stripe, it's such a cool camo. I guess their approach to these belts, they had a lot of LEO um, customers come to them and basically just ask for a slimmer, lighter setup than their normal duty belts. And don't get me wrong, their no normal duty belts are great. This is just something that is slightly smaller. And I think it hides pretty good under your clothes. I actually hide mine under my clothes pretty often and nobody really notices it. Yeah, so pretty much like the whole point of this belt is just to be light and still be able to carry all of your gear. Uh, these did come with their newer magnetic buckles. That's a really cool buckle setup. You don't have to try very hard to get it on. It just gotta be close and it's strong as hell. It's not gonna be as strong as the Cobra clips that they normally put on the belts, but for the type of weight and the type of use that you're gonna do out of this, this thing's kicking the shit out of any other buckle that you're using. Uh, the mag pouches are universal. So I've seen AK mags in here, AR, 762 AR mags. Of course, 300 blackout AR, same thing. Uh, so are the pistol mag holders. The pistol mag holders, you can accept 1911 mags, single stack. Your double stack Glock stuff, I've put SIG, I've put FN, it kind of adapts for everything. They open up pretty wide for you to be able to really make it your own. All these straps, they are intended to be cut off once you find a good setup for those. I just didn't because I'm lazy, don't judge me. And this dump pouch, that comes in handy. You don't think you need a dump pouch until you start dropping mags and then realize that going back to pick your mags up might not be viable. So that's where the dump pouch comes in. It is some other features that you can get with the belts. Uh, one of the features, it does come with the belt itself, is going to be the uh, inner belt. So what that inner belt does is the main belt's Velcro. The inner has that nice soft Velcro so you can wear this on your regular pants. And then whenever you want to throw that belt on, you just attach it and it all lines up really nice. Now you can throw different mag holders on there in multiple colors. Uh, I just opted for the one set of Tiger Stripe. I like Tiger Stripe, looks dope. But our guy Rob did decide to do a nice tan and uh, gray combo. Now, if you notice on his, he has a couple of items on there that I don't have on mine. One being the mesh dump pouch. Mine was a solid one. That mesh one looks really good. I'm sure it lets out a lot of debris. 
a lot of dirt too that gets in there. And then he does have a tourniquet slash flashlight holder. Uh, I guess you can kind of use it for both. A couple other things that he has on his that I don't have on mine are going to be the Cantit magazine holders. And those look like the extended mag holders. So they're gonna be a little bit taller than the normal ones. And he does have this adjustable ride height uh, QLS clip setup. So you can take those screws, move them up, move them down, and it'll give you either a high ride, mid ride, or a low ride for a QLS holster. And that's kind of how these are set up for. They're set up to be used as a QLS rig. This setup from Wilder, it's not gonna set you back too much money, but it's gonna give you tons of fun. And this belt will last you damn near forever, unless you're crazy, crazy, crazy hard on gear. Now, how much you ask? That's for you to find out. Go check Wilder's page out. They'd love to tell you. Now, if you like this video, please subscribe. We like putting this content out, guys. So the more people that are following, the more I'm gonna do videos, the more content, information, and expertise you guys get. So like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.